Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where we see Bitcoin right now trying to blast off one more time to the moon. In today's video, I'm going to be going over the next really important levels of support and resistance that we have to be aware of right now if you want to absolutely just crush this market and extract that money into your bank account. We're going to be going over the really important levels. We're obviously going to be covering the range that we have just broke out of, which was also actually quite easy. And I wanna be going over really the next steps that we can be aware of. Yeah, where is the next best trade? Ladies and gentlemen, let's get into what we love. Let's add on to the charts. What we absolutely love, that's obviously our technical analysis. And oh, what a joy it is. What a joy it is to be a trader right now because the levels continue to just be really perfectly respected. Obviously, from the last video that we've been making, we've, we were definitely aware of this weekly level of support. So if we zoom in a little bit here, weekly level of support, obviously $60,000. The video that I gave you for absolutely free on the 22nd of October was obviously talking about that weekly zone of support. We knew it was not an exact level. My exact words were I actually wanted to see it broken. So we did want to see moves down below the weekly. And we obviously knew we had that bit of a, a bit of a range of support from that 60,000 weekly down to around 59 thousand three hundred dollars a bit of a zone of support um eg this is this is the weekly zone of support and we really can see how that oh, when we talk about technical analysis getting respected perfectly you can see here how it really did work out obviously this is you know this is how it's progressed uh if you're not following over on twitter you can give us a follow on twitter because I'm doing, you know, some updates over there as well. But we can kind of see how this has progressed as it as it as it moved along. Originally rejecting from the weekly with that swing failure pattern, moving down to the weekly level, bouncing off it once, giving us our low and our first high. From there, we obviously progressed during the range. Last public video that I done was obviously while we were trading here, and my exact words were, I want to see this weekly broken. I want to see a move below the weekly. Why? Because there was a lot of liquidity gathered there. E.g., we want to stop everybody out, <laughs> because this is this is what we like to do as, as traders. It, it basically is kind of wrecked the majority of people. And obviously, breaking the weekly would have wrecked a lot of people. People start to get really bearish, and people in longs get stopped out, e.g., all liquidity taken. Obviously, I was prior short from the daily level. Okay, I was short from $63,555. And when we broke that weekly, this is an update that I gave inside of my Discord group for the champions. When we broke down below the weekly, I really simply said, I have closed my short from the daily level. Okay, that is the short done and dusted. Closed. Why? We had hit my target level. This is all I wanted. And obviously, it ended in a really bullish swing failure pattern. Okay, so as soon as we had seen that move below the weekly and back above, that for me is a bullish swing failure pattern. We have taken the liquidity below $60,000 in the weekly. And obviously for me, then that is closed fully, by the way, fully closed out of the whole short from 63,555, the, the daily level. Okay, fully closed that short and got into a long. What am I doing? I'm trading the charts. I'm trading what's happening. I'm not trading what I want. I'm not trading what I'd like. I'm not trading any underlying biases. I'm trading what is happening. So really simply, closed the short, went into a long. We obviously moved up all the way to the high of the range. Brilliant. Yeah, very nice take profit on a long. What you're aware of now, you're aware of if we move up the next level of resistance, which was actually around <laughs> 62,800, which we're above right now. And obviously, if we come back into the range, we continue to trade that range until it breaks. And obviously, price did come back into the range. So we saw a bit of a deviation, move back down, retest of the higher the range. And obviously, overall, guess what? We came all the way back down once again to the low of the range, breaking down below the weekly. It's like I said here, do not get bullish at the higher the range and do not get bearish at the lower the range. You want to be looking for your longs down here. And obviously shorts up at the high of the range. So when it's at the low of the range, you've got to look. For longs, you've got to be looking bullishly. And obviously this is how it progressed. So if we add back on the top level of resistance that we had, obviously our weekly, okay, we can see how if you truly traded this range, you were given one, two, three, four, five trades and five wins. And then obviously you move up to the top of the range. And what was really perfect about this is there was absolutely no resistance at the top of the range. So if you were trading off of your reactions, you obviously can trade your first long, your first short, your first long. Well, obviously then this moving on to your second long and second shorts. Third longs, obviously after the deviation, swing failure pattern of the lows, move back up, reclaim. And it's like I was showing in the Champions live stream yesterday. Deviation, move back down. There's your retest. And then obviously you move down. 
Here is your deviation swing failure pattern. Move back up, retest, and then obviously move back up. This is your very low risk short. This is your very low risk long. And what was absolutely perfect about this range is that when you moved up to the top of the range, there was no time to even contemplate a short because of the fact you just went straight through resistance. So this is absolutely the most perfect scenario in the world because you would have traded five trades, all of them wins. If you had traded the long from the low of the range, you are not even debating taking a short because you go straight through the level. Yeah, and then not only you went straight through the level, but then the old prior high resistance is flipped perfectly into support. And from then we have continued our high, higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low, and now making a new higher high. So you can, you, I hope you can truly, truly, truly understand how it has been so of utmost importance to really not get bearish at the low of the ranges, not get bullish up the high of the ranges, trade the range until it breaks, and you were gifted an absolute gold mine with the fact that it just went straight through the resistance, no contemplation, obviously, of the short position, as you just go straight through, and then you actually retest the resistance as support for moving up for another higher, higher, and higher low. Yeah, it's, it's an, it really is, really is a very kind, what can we say? It's very kind as long as you traded the charts, as long as you had no bias, as long as you were trading what was happening you could truly have taken here five trades, five wins. Yeah, what really isn't actually that difficult. And then it moves on to where we are right now. Okay, so where are we now? We can kind of see we obviously are have broken out the lower the range and we have some really, really, really key levels. Of course, we can say our key levels of support to the downside naturally that 60,000 weekly. Again, it's a, it's a zone. Remember, it's a zone of support. But that zone of support around the weekly overall held perfectly. And my exact words in the Champions live stream last night, this weekly support is holding. We cannot be bearish while we're holding weekly support. It just really doesn't make any sense. Yeah, that's a massive, massive support level. And right now it's holding. And that overall 12 hours later, 12 hours later, it has held very well indeed. So this is for me a really, really, really big level. Yeah, of course, then we have around $58,000. And now we have built a new weekly above us at around 61,500. So really we have, you know, big support down here. If obviously this is the thing, if we break big support, it flips into really big resistance, of course. But as it stands right now, that is support. Should we break down? Should we fall? And should we lose those levels of support? They turn into big resistance levels. And then naturally we could look for much lower prices. But as it stands... They are acting as support, they have held as support, and we have seen a move to the upside. Be open to changing your opinions, be open to trading what is happening, but right now, truly trading the charts for what they are, they are support levels. If they're lost, I know what I'm going to do next, and I'm ready for the next trade. But as it stands, they're support, okay? So I want to really emphasize that to you all. Okay, so we can clearly see we have our big barrier of, of, of supports now. We have our first weekly and our second weekly blurbs. We have that loser, we obviously have a, a monthly level below. And naturally then, so if, if we are, you know, if we're coming up to our resistance zones now, which, which levels can we be aware of? Well, I think the first and most obvious one though is, and I'm not saying that I would just randomly trade these CC levels, by the way, I would never do that. But obviously it's a nice level to be aware of, okay? And that's coming into around, you know, 63, but let's just say 64, thousand dollars okay so for him in terms of percentage it's not that much away it's like just over one percent away and we start to come into our cc level okay so that's about sixty four thousand dollars and i think that's the next intraday um you say sort of intraday level that we were aware of of course would i trade off a of cc blindly no but if we get a nice reaction off of it and it opens up a trade it's like it's like when you're approaching the top of the range you don't just randomly place a limit short at the top of the range and just hope for the best no you can wait for your reactions wait for the deviations and if it just goes straight through you don't take a trade it's the same here i'm ready for a short but if it just goes straight through then i don't take the trade and you know i just hold on to long positions so it's like in my opinion i'd always trade off of, off of a reaction i do not preset orders um uh, so yeah, a few things to be aware of. Obviously, that 62,800, we're slightly through it now, but if we come back down below here for a little bit of a deviation from this mini range that we were trading earlier, well, then obviously we could look back down below back to the weekly. So it's it's like building up levels of where you want to trade, where you're interested in trading. I think you have 62,800, then obviously you have the, this this first weekly here, and then obviously the, the, lower, the, the lower weekly is still in play. Above us, you have $64,000, and obviously that, that big $65,000 level, and then naturally the, the, the top of the daily at, at 66,000. So you have like three mm, I would really say you have three levels above you right now, you have three levels below you right now, and 
you know, where you are right now, you actually have a, a really small level at 62,800, okay? But this is maybe for people trading the one to five minute charts. Here, we're focusing more on a little bit of a higher term time frame. But nevertheless, we we have three crucial levels of support. We have three crucial levels of resistance. Obviously, if we lose the support, it flips into resistance. If we break the resistance, it flips into the support, okay? We would obviously like to see that back by obviously, you know, it'd be nice to see it back by open interest. We'd like to see it back by delta increases. But that's not a necessity. At the end of the day, we can just trade the price action for what it is. Yeah, truly trade the price action for what it is. Truly just trade the charts of what's happening. And, um, you know, you can end actually a very, very happy person right now, to be honest with you, very happy. Um, <laughs> so we go this one this was the talk through of the current bitcoin price action obviously seeing a bit of a pullback here and this is why i was saying you've got a little bit of a range that's potentially going to form here but i don't want to get too drawn to the lower term time frames i just really want to you know give you the levels how we have come about these levels from the very 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 beginning before we had even fell down here aware waiting for the levels when the levels are hit we trade the levels eg we are only taking the highest probability trades you can truly see that no we're only taking really good high probability trades we're not going to trade in random areas we're not going to trade for the sake of trading we are patient we are ready we are ready we are ready and we are waiting and we are the champions and we crush this market every single day ladies and gentlemen if you want to see more from myself obviously in the champions group I am now active. You get these sort of updates when I'm seeing, you know, swing failure patterns, when I'm closing positions, when I'm looking for my, you know, kind of making my thought process live as it's happening. So if you want to see more from myself, that's obviously in the champions group at Chart Champions. If you want the educational material behind this, how we mark our weeklies, how we mark our dailies, how we look at the order flow, all of this type of the education is obviously for the contenders and the champions. So that's how, that's if you want to see more from me. And, uh, Ooh, I mean, I'm loving it right now. What can I say? I'm absolutely loving it. The markets are very kind right now. So uh, yeah, I hope that you have thoroughly enjoyed this video. I will say thank you ever so much. If you have, smash that like button, smash the like button, and uh, hopefully you have a big, big, big smile on your face right now, as big as mine, because I'm absolutely loving this, honestly. So uh, yeah, I will just say thank you, smash the likes, and of course, <laughs> no financial advice in this video, just an entertainment educational video only, no financial advice. Um, so basically, you gotta, you got to use this to learn from. So thank you ever so much, and have a brilliant day, everyone. Just absolutely have a brilliant day. Thank you, and goodbye. Cheers.